What up, what up, what up? It's your boy AD in the spot all day. And I'm here to do the Empire Season 2, Episode 14 review. My bad, I'm a little late with this video. I'm actually like two or three days late, but my bad. Just been a little busy, you know. And I, sometimes I like to find the right time, you know, where I can sit here and talk through the whole thing without no mess ups or, you know, having to cut the video. Because it's a lot easier when you just do it all at once. But I'll get to the point here. Let's start it off. This was what happened. Alright, the first thing I wrote down was this white dude pulls this little black girl's hair. And I'm like, what the heck? I think I low-key, I kind of forget this ep episode. Um, I mean, it, it it's some little memorable stuff, but I don't know. But I know reading these notes is going to remind me of certain things. And with this girl... I can't exactly remember what happened, but I do remember that. So uh, that's what my notes is for. Just things that caught my eye, basically. I wrote Anika and what was it? Anika, Andre, and his wife were at her house and Anika's house, I think. And I wrote why? Like why in the world is they over there? Like what? What is? What is? his wife, Andre's wife, really planning, you know, and hanging wise, even messing with a nigga, like, what is they trying to do, you know, and Andre, man, you know, he unstable, stable, and it seems like they all kind of messed up in their own little way, right, then they start talking about spiritual issues or something like that, then, then the nigga was throwing up in the toilet, we know what that means, and then she finally come out and uh, admits that, you know, she's pregnant by Akeem. So, damn, it's a little crazy way to start the show off. Because as soon as it kicks off, here she go. With this craziness, I thought Anika was pretty much out the story. I kind of did, but apparently she's coming back. Now she's pregnant by Akeem. Come on, this, this stereotypical stuff is always some stereotypes. There's never nothing good, man, with they show. You got young guy King getting girls pregnant that he don't even want to be with. That basically was like his stepmama. Like, for real. I'll tell you one thing. If I had much fame as money as, as I Akeem lying, I wouldn't be wasting my time with women who's not worth it. I'd be trying to get my life together and, and then find somebody who's, you know, you could really start a life with, you know. It's like, he always make bad choices. The women said his video was amazing. The woman said his video was amazing. Um, oh, must be talking about Lucy's video. And I'm like, question mark? Because that's just weird. Like, they're saying that video was cool. That video was not cool. That video had to be probably one of the most dramatic videos i ever seen. To be a rap video... That was pretty dramatic. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, Lucius is acting friendly with this woman. And Cookie is wondering what Lucius is up to. Yeah, he was acting friendly with this woman. I don't know who she was. I don't know. But Lucius was acting friendly, friendly, with, friendly with her. And I wrote a question mark. Um, in the barbershop with weird colors, yeah, the colors in the barbershop were weird, like probably the floor, um, can't fully remember what the barbershop looked like, but I wrote that down, uh, I wrote, and I wrote, and Jamal was not hitting notes well, dang, I don't know, maybe that part when he was singing or something, I, I think, I think, we had picked up on that one like man I don't think he was hitting notes all that well and also I wrote in a barbershop around the movie time I wrote that too like they would have a barbershop scene something I don't think I've ever seen in this show around the same time when the barbershop movie come out as if that as if that's what they want you to go watch you know oh go watch the barbershop and I, I should make a video about that movie because I'm going to tell you right now, just like any other movie that comes out, it's not good. It's not good for you. They're, they're lying to you and tricking you. They want you to spend your money on these BS propaganda movies 
to make people think and believe BS and make people look bad and people act like they don't notice it. it it's sad to me. But anyways, Frida pistol whips a guy in a fury like a man. And I had to bring that up because Frida is like this new role. This is what they're trying to push. They're trying to push women who pretty much do what men do. If you watch my last video, this is more understanding to you. If you watch the sexual re reverse video I got, this is just like what I'm talking about. Let's let's put Frida on a girl who kind of sounds like a dude, kind of dresses like a dude, and raps like a dude. And now she's pistol whipping people like a dude. I'm just saying, how many females you know pistol whip people? Not too many. I can tell you that, that I know a scene. Like, dang, she, why she so hardcore, you know, it's just she... Man, you see what they trying to show. I wrote Becky is back. And Jamal is playing a new song. And I, I think I wrote like a laugh or something. Because I swear every time Becky come back, man, it's always something crazy. It's always something funny. And then she there with Jamal too. Because that just always is as excitement. Um, still talking about this black and white album. Here they go. Promoting this black and white album. It would be those colors, huh? <clears throat> and I was like, what the hell is that behind them? See, I can't even remember. But in this scene, when they was together, it was something very weird behind them. Can't even remember. But just know that if you watch that scene, just pay attention to the background. Some might catch your eye or something. I don't know. You know? I, I, it was definitely something. I'm just sitting here making sure my battery and stuff is good. Because... Again, I'm making sure my sound is correct because, again, I do not like, re you know, doing videos of them, especially when they're long. Um, Andre says him and Lucis just spoke. That was weird to me because they just got into an argument. And Jamal is still dressing kind of straight. Like I said in my last video, I realized that it's like, is Jamal straight now? I'm like, he dressing straighter? He not, you know, messing around with guys like that no more. It's like Jamal has been really, has just been about his music, really, as of lately. And I wrote Thirsty is on You Know What, LOL, because that's his name. Um, I wrote, I came with Lucius is still beefing, and Lucius planting drugs on his bus. I'm like, what? I'm like, wow. I'm like, this is how y'all get down. And I bet you some stuff like this actually has happened to people in real life where they didn't even know and boom, the drugs is on their bus. Now you getting hit with some BS that you didn't even do. Yeah, it's messed up, ain't it? Man, as you can see, Lucis is willing to do anything, man. <laughs> this is, boy, I tell you. I wrote, images are everywhere. I wrote, I wrote, will Jamal do the new tracks with old girl? Will, will he? I think I'm talking about Frida. Maybe somebody different. I think it was Frida. Like, will he do this? Um, Lucius and Andre at the graveyard. I wrote, why are they cool? <laughs> Like I said, y'all was just beefing not too long ago. Now y'all cool as pie, like, for real? Okay. I wrote, they look cold, Sue. And then Lucius was speaking some truth, I wrote. And I wrote, will Andre accept with a question mark? Next scene, now Cookie is saying, Akeem is childish. Frida trying to bump now. Now they trying to bang Frida hard. And I wrote, uh, Frida is not straight, relating to a female. I guess, I don't know well, why I wrote that. It must have been something that caught my eye somewhere. I wrote, like, she's not straight either. I don't know. Maybe it was the scene where she was doing something. I can't fully remember. But it's always good to lo look back and keep this in your mind. Um, Anika just announced Akeem is her baby father. I guess the first time he just told them, but now I think he told she told like everybody, and you know that's crazy. Um, Lucy's so-called has a DNA test. Oh my goodness! 
Cookie is definitely disgusted. You know, this definitely disgusts the mess out of her because this is her son getting this girl who she never liked from the beginning pregnant. Talk about OC. And the way, oh yeah, and the way Anika was talking in this scene, I ain't even gonna lie. She sounded like a robot when she was talking. Dun, 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 dun. Na, 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 na. You know what I'm saying? She was sound like a robot. It was crazy. Um, Akeem girl has a new style and song during the performance. I came in the house, and I wrote, "I came in the house." I guess he was turning up. I guess this girl he with. I guess it probably was that one girl I was talking about who I say make always look sexual. I guess this girl probably did get a new song and style, and if so, and if I'm right, and this is what I was talking about, then thank you, because I was seriously getting tired of her talking about some look at my body. Um, it says Lucis is trying to run money to Anika, and then I wrote, I must have been writing fast, because stuff be happening fast. I wrote, um... I think I wrote Akeem's asking real questions. And then I said, now the truth is out. I wrote that and I wrote, does the other death count? Because um, remember, old girl died, you know, in the beginning. Uh, yes, was this episode or last one? Uh, Akeem's mistress died. And I remember how they said, well, you know, a lion. I guess they she doesn't count because she was a lion. Because they said a lion will fall. So, hmm. And if I had, that doesn't mean they're going to die. But more than likely, that does probably mean that they will die. Hmm. And if I had to think of which one it would be, I pretty much think it would be Andre. I mean, it, we don't know. But if I had to pick one, it would be Andre. Jamal's story been changing. And his uh, storyline been changing, too. So look out for him, too. Um, Lucius and Akeem in a confusion. A must watch evil scene from Lucius. I, I wrote that down like this is a must watch evil scene. Um, Akeem is struggling. Lucius tricked his way back, like he always do. Akeem is upset, man, cause you know he murdered that girl too. You know he murdered old girl. He made her kill herself. You know, it was so crazy because he didn't even have to shoot her. It, it was just like, dang, I, I don't even got to shoot you. You just kill yourself. Lucius was still going in on Akeem, question mark. Now saying Cookie still love him, LOL. And I wrote LOL because I'm like, oh my gosh, their whole relationship is something else. And he was like, Cookie still loves me. How long that's going to last? Whoa. I wrote Jamal thinks him and Frida can kill it overall. And I'm just like, whoa. Like, for real? Like, man. Shoot. <laughs> I said, I wrote, whoa. Like, dang. Low-key, I feel like Jamal can do this on his own. But I guess he want to pick Frida, which is low-key like a comeback at Lucius. Then they was in the barbershop again, and Frida was cutting hair. <laughs> I had to write that. Like, see, here she go. Here she go. Now she cutting hair. Now she cutting hair. It's the type of stuff they want to promote, man. Um, I wrote this show in the crazy with a woman having flashback like his mom. And I wrote crazy for real. I can't even remember who it was, man. My bad that I couldn't fully remember everything, but at least I went through it kind of quick than what I normally do. But I gave y'all some good notes, though. And then, shoot, I ain't gonna lie. It almost make me want to go back and watch this episode because I, I, I can't, you know, like, again, stuff happened. That's the thing about the Empire. That's why I be trying to stay, stay on top because you see stuff just be happening quick. And it's only a one-hour show and... You know what I'm saying? And the commercials are very short, so it's a lot of stuff in that hour. I'm going to give this episode a 3 out of 5 rating. That's what I gave it, 3 out of 5. And 
I wrote, it was an alright show, but still a lot of iffy parts in it, and not so exciting. But you get a 3 out of 5 out of me, so it must be a, at least something, you know. So, something to check out, you know, like this video, comment, tell me what you think, you know. And I will be back for the next one, and next time, yes, I will try to make it a little bit more quicker for you guys. But I appreciate anyone who watches this video, and I'll talk to y'all later.